So this may be your first look into Epicor Kinetic 2021. What you'll notice is that many menu items can and do remain without the Kinetic options, but Epicor is moving more and more toward using Kinetic throughout many Epicor modules and reports. Reviewing the documents published by Epicor states that Kinetic is the new name for Epicor ERP. Epicor continues to mention that in this release, Kinetic 2021.1, high impact experiences create personal interactions, drive greater work efficiency, and deliver anywhere access to ERP. A modern user experience is one of the core aspects of Kinetic 2021.1, and it's delivered through the Kinetic user interface. It is enterprise software. Modern user experience is one of the core aspects of Kinetic 2021.1, and it's delivered through the Kinetic user interface. It is enterprise software delivered how you need it, resulting in a more productive and delightful experience for users. Today, we will look at one small area, the Kinetic application maintenance menu item. So today we'll not be very in depth, but an overview of the Kinetic application maintenance menu item. The topics listed here will be covered and the following slides will show more details about each topic. We're gonna to discuss what is Kinetic application maintenance, opening the Kinetic application maintenance menu item, setting options on Kinetic, on company level Kinetic setup and setting options on menu level Kinetic setup and then show some example Kinetic menus. So what is Kinetic application maintenance? Kinetic means relating to or resulting from motion. Use this menu item to opt in or opt out of the Kinetic user interface for companies, menu groups, and applications. Since the menu item is under the security maintenance folder, only security managers or global security managers can administrate and modify the Kinetic applications in this menu item. Opening Kinetic application maintenance does not need to be scary, but you may also not use it very often, so you may have some bats flying around when you open it. You can find the Kinetic application maintenance menu item under system setup, security maintenance, as long as you have the permissions or you can use the Epicor search menu to find the Kinetic application maintenance menu item. As mentioned at the beginning, the Kinetic user interface can, can be set up at a few levels. When you first open the menu item, you will see the options already in place for the company levels. So here you can see each different company listed and in our version of 2021.1, we have kinetic options available in all the different companies. You can turn them off per company. And if you want to make any changes to each company, you'll highlight the company on the left side to toggle on or off the kinetic user interface by sliding the option on the right side. Enable new UI. In addition, the lower right has the option to change the alert snooze time to 15, 30, or 45 days. So you can click the drop down and you can choose 15, 30, or 45 days. What that will do is set how many days the kinetic alert banner will be snoozed for once the snooze button is pressed. So you can see this is an example of the banner for the kinetic alert and you can press the snooze button and say um, that it would be snoozed for 15 days or 30 days or 45 days. So the next level down is the menu level kinetic setup. You can open the triangle next to the menu item and then see all companies menus to reveal menu level kinetic setup. You can continue to drill down to lower level menu items to choose to turn on or off the kinetic options. <clears throat> Notice the colored indicators at the parent menu level. 
A green indicator will mean that the lower level menu items all are also green, turned on. And yellow means some lower level menu items are turned on and some are turned off. And red means no lower level menu items are turned on. In order to see the change of turning a menu item on or off, you will need to log out and back into Epicor. The menu items themselves also don't need to be scary. Kinetic applications have a clean, modern, and intuitive user interface. Designed with the user in mind, screens have expandable and collapsible panel cards. By clicking on the little arrow there, you can expand them or collapse the cards that provide easy access to information only when you need it, providing the kinetic motion. The landing page is the first thing you see when you open a kinetic app. A landing page always has an overflow menu and one or more cards that display the main details about a list of selected records. So here you can see the overflow menu and then all the different cards that are available. Here you can see the landing page for sales orders, which displays the list of sales orders in the main columns. Again, we have the card that's expanded in this case and an overflow menu. The overflow menu will have different options depending on the screen you're in. Most list views and the cards have the ability to select a row and click the hyperlink for the key field. Sales order is the key field in this case to bring up the details about that particular sales order. So you can select the row and then click on the hyperlink for the key field that will bring up the details about the sales order. So this is the view of the cards that are shown for the details of a particular sales order. So here we can see this is order number 5399. It also has an overflow menu and several cards available at the detail level. And as you can see, there are many expandable cards. In addition, you can also select an area in the tree to expand to a specific card. You may also notice that we are currently showing the details tab. But there's also an activity tab, which shows information about shipment invoices and deposits, among other information that relate to this particular sales order. These are the examples that I have in my presentation, but we can also peek around in Epicor to show some other examples as we may want. So this is the actual Epicor menu item for Fnatic application maintenance. And we can see, you know, some things have items turned on, off and some have um, items turned on. And then you can see at the general operations level, it is yellow because it has both on and off items listed. Here is the actual order entry. And if you click on any of these orders, we should get another screen that pops up with all the details on this particular order. It, it put me right in the tax tree, but if you go to the details tab, you can close all of these and see all the different tabs and then you can open them as you want. And if you want to see a look at the overflow menu, here we can see different options available for this particular screen of sales order detail. In the um, reports, there's usually going to be at least the, these three um, cards on your reports. Your usual top section in Classic had your options where you can put in dates and do check boxes. You also have a section with the filters so you can search for which orders. And then you have the advanced, which you can choose the report style and archive days and scheduling and what output format you want, et cetera. Sales order backlog, same kind of look. Job entry now, purposely I left it here where it's not turned on to show you the snooze um, option and that you can choose even if it's not turned on. We have the override option for the user 
in the kinetic interface you have enable user override so you can um, go ahead and click that and then that would actually bring up the kinetic interface for job entry and then we have the AR invoice entry and again you can click on any of the um, particular invoices and you can get the details about the invoice if you go back to the top level you can get all the different cards again okay so i can show any other ones anybody wants if they want to um, put anything in the chat window or if you have any questions put them in the chat window and i will somebody says how would you show only orders for a specified user and order entry i would expect that you would have to do a customization or a personalization in that case i haven't played yet um, with personalizations to see if you could do it in personalizations. I know you could do it um, with a customization for sure. Jackie asks, if you customize an entry screen, does it translate into the kinetic mode? Again, I haven't uh, done that much myself, but I have read that you can customize an entry screen and that there is an option to convert it to kinetic and that you would have to you know, of course, test it and make sure everything converted as it needed to. That would be what you would need to do. So as always, it's best to try things out in a test environment so that you can test and tweak the results you expected. Enjoy the rest of the month and enjoy Halloween.